guys, Little Western Eleven here, and today I'm going to be doing another Thomas Wooden Railway review. And today I'm joined by my good friend Wooden Railway remakes and reviews. So it's going to be another crossover review. And the item we're going to be reviewing today is Arthur. Please, can you all go to Wooden Railway Remakes and Refuses channel, subscribe, and come back here and watch the rest of this review. Anyway, let's start with Arthur as a character. Arthur, who came to Sodor as a goods engine, loves fish and works in a fishing village. He used to have a spotless record until the trucks made him crash into some fruit vans or boxcars, whatever you want to call them. In the TV series, Arthur made his debut in the season 7 episode, The Spotless Record. He has only spoken a few episodes, but has made us lot, a lot of cameos since then. He has also been made into quite a lot of merchandise. Ertl, Wooden Railway, which I'm reviewing today, Take Along, Take and Play, Motor Road and Rail, Trackmaster, My Thomas Story Library, Tomica, and Wine So considering he was only in a few episodes, this guy's got a lot of merchandise. Arthur's basis is an LMS Ivor Class 2MT tank engine, which is painted in the LMS maroon livery with gold bands and yellow lining. Did you know that although he's in his LMS maroon livery, his class was only ever painted black when in service for the LMS? This model of Arthur was released in 2005 and was made available until 2009. Over the four years that it was available, it had no changes made. So guys, now I'm going to hand you over to Wooden Railway Remakes and Reviews for his thoughts on the model. So I guess it's my turn. Um, this is Arthur the LMS engine, and um, really nothing special. Uh, this is one of the more non-common items. Uh, so I'm really happy to have this. This item is pretty new. I got it for Christmas. Um, so I had it has this um little part. Uh, bogey some people might call it um and then it has the front part one has three and then he has one over here um i don't really know what to say in this because i just think that he's a really nice model um his face could be more detailed this is when i started going into less less detailed faces um I really like the, his maroon color, the maroon and yellow. It's it's really it's really a nice contrast, and we ha we haven't seen this before. There's so many blue engines with red stripes, but maroon with yellow. Um, I think that it should be replaced with NWR, but that's more of a show thing than his wooden railway model. Um. Let me just set Arthur down. Arthur is probably one of the biggest tank engines in, in the show. And I'm glad he was made to scale. And what I'm saying made to scale is because Whiff was made to scale and Arthur was made to scale. Ryan was a, a bit smaller than Arthur. 
but he was about the same size, but he got about the same size as Thomas, which really isn't a side. Um, so, same with the Shima. Um, final thoughts on this. It's really good. Um, I'm gonna have to give it a 9 out of 10. Wooden Road Adventure Review, signing out. So guys, now that Arthur is off his road trip, he's back and I'm going to tell you my thoughts about him. Let's start with the negatives because then we can end on a high note. The one bad thing I'd say about this model, I know it's how it was in the TV series and how the basis was, but if this wasn't based off of anything I'd prefer if it was more like a coach where there's two wheels, well four it's a 4-4, four, four. bogey variation, wheel variation, sorry. Anyway, about the model, I really like this alpha model. The detail is very good. And this is more on the show part. I know when Railway remakes and reviews said against it, but I, I like how it says LMS because that is his basis. And that's why I'll be like, in real life because he wouldn't have a Northwestern Railway printed on the side of him if he's only just come. As for the face, it's oh it's quite good, it's alright. I'd say it's mediocre. Nothing special. The, I really like the shape that I must have been very hard to program a machine to carve that. And but the magnet can't move, that's one of the only wooden railway items that have that. I wouldn't say problem, but yeah, he's one of the only wooden railway items that has that. I also like the way that he's a lot bigger than normal tank engines. Because if you look at Duck, Arthur's a lot longer and just a lot larger in general, really. I really do like this item, and my rating, hmm, I'll probably give it a 9.5 out of 10, because really, really, I can't find any proper faults with it, so yeah, 9.5 out of 10. So guys, that is it from me, the Little Western 11, if you've enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like and subscribe to me and Wooden Railway we make some reviews his link will be in the description go click on that subscribe and yeah watch more of my videos see ya